Colorado Springs, where a memorial is growing outside an LGBTQ nightclub. A gunman killed five people over the weekend and wounded more than a dozen others. The suspected shooter has been charged with murder and hate crimes. The incident is reverberating in communities across America, including the Oak Lawn neighborhood in Dallas. People told Kevin Reese the shock and pain is palpable. Here. Sit here okay. and I'll sit on the other side. Thank you for talking with us. This could have easily been our community on the strip here in Oakland. And if it had been our community, does it need to happen in our neighborhood for us to care? Um, right. mm -hmm. I, I hope not. Folks were targeted uh, because of their identities, um, killed because of their identities. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just truly heartbreaking. I feel like history is repeating and repeating and repeating and how long? Will we be outraged enough to care about this? I was upset, but honestly, I wasn't surprised, which is really almost made me more upset. But I wasn't like surprised. This just seems to be the path we're on right now, and I hate it. Sweater weather with almond milk. And when someone gets shot for who they are, I mean, you feel for them. You hurt with them. I myself am a conservative Christian, so I don't necessarily said one, one and a half? align with everything that the LGBTQ community stands with, but that, you know, my goal and my desire and my heart is still to love. It's really hard to comprehend that somebody would have such animosity towards a group of people who are different from them, that they're willing to physically harm them. Healing and change, truth, can only come through love. The things we say carry weight. Could we not treat one another with kindness? Could we not remember that uh, we are human beings? Get to know someone because they're people. We're all human. Mm -hmm. And I think the sooner we accept that, the sooner things will get at least a little bit better.